Hello. Welcome to our heart intelligence practice. This one's on generosity. This one supports me in more ways than I can share with you in these five minutes. And it is a constant learning and a constant practice for me in order for me to stay open with my heart and generous towards others. To start with myself, being generous with myself. Um, when I think of the word generosity, I think of, oh, gift giving. But if I could go deeper, and I think of generosity of spirit, and I think of ways I show up when I'm generous in spirit, and when I'm stingy in spirit. And gone unchecked, I can lean towards stingy of spirit. Gone unchecked, I live in my judgment mind, my observation mind, observing others, not myself. And um, I get really critical without even really knowing it. So generosity practice has been so life-giving to me because it keeps me in check and it allows me to do what I believe that we're here to do, which is love. To start um, our generosity practice, go ahead and just uh, uh, find your Find yourself, find your spine, find your breath. Connect your lower body, your legs, your thighs with your upper body, your hands, and then close your eyes. Generosity of spirit can be practiced in many, many little ways. I'm gonna share three ways I like to practice it throughout the day. The first uh, way I like to practice it is with a slogan that was gifted to me, and it's called For Fun and For Free. And when I live for fun and for free, I offer things without anything in return. Think about something in your work day that you do for a team, for a student, for a coworker. And think about how that action which may have been so well-intended and heartful in the beginning, is starting to feel a little thick. Now when you're creating that action, you're feeling hmm, a little bit, what about me? Oh, I'm doing this again. All right, well, this person's expecting it. The example I'm going to use is a, an example from my husband, with my husband. In the mornings, I bring him up coffee. I leave earlier than he does, and it's a nice act. And when we were first dating, it was a for fun and for free, for real act. I just really wanted him to feel comfortable. I wanted his day to start out great. And it really was without intention of wanting something in return. And then habit starts, and... Then, I started to notice that, oh shoot, I gotta go get my husband coffee. Oh, I'm running late, I gotta get my husband coffee. And, lo and behold, it became a task. And when we would fight, sometimes I would even like throw that back at him, like, oh, and then I always bring you coffee in the morning. That's your first clue that you've lost your generosity of spirit. So, if you have that thing in your mind, that thing that at first it felt really great, first thing I want you to do is check in with it again. Is it something you even really want to be doing anymore? We don't have to do a kind, generous thing for the rest of our life. So every once in a while, we get to check in with those kind acts and see if it's serving us or others or causing a little bit of a resentment or a little bit of a, a thick energy. Now, you can keep with that one thing that you do during the day for someone else if that felt like, yep, I really do want to give that for fun and for free. And I want you to imagine yourself giving that act, doing that. So, I'm imagining myself walking up the stairs feeling really, really grateful. I have a hot cup of coffee in my hand and... I'm starting to create just even a little bubble up, like, 
anticipation of excitement of offering this to my husband, the person that I love and cherish. And by the time I offer him coffee, I have an energy about me that is for fun and for free. That is not going to hold on to this as leverage. And as a result, he feels that. And I feel that. And we start our day out right. Generosity of spirit. When we see somebody in need and we offer our help without a second thought, I see it so often in kids. Somebody will, uh, will drop a, a container of crayons and two, three, four kiddos will come up and help immediately. They're not looking for anything in return. They just saw some, somebody in need and they leaned in to help. Lean in and listen. The lean in and listen approach is a wonderful uh, thing to do on the daily. So whenever you're in front of another human, and you remember, you can practice cultivating generosity. And all we have to do to do that is drop the storyline in our mind of everything that we've got to do, drop our schedule, and lean in and listen. Here's the truth. Every time I choose to do that, I receive so many more benefits than if I would have stayed stuck in my own mind. And my storyline is there to pick up anytime I want, and my schedule is still there. And I have found that by listening and leaning in, when I'm with that other person, it actually gives me a little bit of energy to then go back and um, get things done in my own schedule. So without further ado, turn this off and go cultivate some generosity. Always making me laugh. Here's to the fact that I'd be safe.